Hi guys, welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, we will discuss how to upload files in ASP.NET MVC with an example. Finally, we will learn how to display or view the uploaded image in ASP.NET MVC. So let's get started. First of all, I am going to create an MVC project. For that, go to File, then New, then Project. From the left panel, select Web under Visual C Sharp, then ASP.NET web application name your application here and select the location where you want to save the application then click on ok keep it as it is click on ok so here we have our brand new mvc application now let me talk about our db part this is my management studio and there we have a database mvc image db and then i have created a new table image there it has three columns image id title image path image id is the primary key for the table and it is specified as identity column so we don't need to insert values into this column it will be automatically incremented by one and it will start from one we have title to end the image title and then we have uh, image path column to store relative path of the image and currently the table is empty now back to Visual Studio, I'm going to add a Rio.NET entity model for the database. For that, right click on models, then add new item, select data from the left panel, click on a Rio.NET entity data model, name your model here, click on add, select generate from database, next then select the connection and database for that click on new connection here we need to specify the sql server instance details local host backward slash sql e2012 then select the database click on ok i want to change this uh, name in uh, web config as db models click on next then select the uh, table image click on finish so this is the diagrammatic representation of our table image you can see the newly created entity model here as dbmodel.admx inside that you can see the file image.cs it contains a class image it has properties for each column in our image table so we will be using this class as a model for our application we need to add a new controller image for that right click on controllers then add controller select empty controller click on add name the controller as image controller click on add instead of index we need add action this will be the uh, http get request now let's create a view for this add action for that right click on add then add view keep the name as it is select create template then select model class as image class then uh, keep others as it is click on add now let me run the application for that hold control then press f5 so this is how the page looks like instead of this image path we need a file uploader for that first of all i'm going to replace this uh, label with upload image for that you can uh, go to the uh, definition of image class go to definition then i'm going to change the display name of this property for that i'm gonna add the attribute display name as upload file and we want to resolve the namespace for that hold control then press period so we want to use this namespace system dot component model in order to work with file uploader in this view we are going to add a new property into our image class first of all we need to use the namespace system.web 
then I'm gonna add a new property into this class it will be of the type HTTP poster file base image file instead of this text box I need a file uploader for that we can edit the razor view add instead of this uh, text box I need an HTML element input of the type file and we need to name the uh, file uploader and it should be same as this property then only the uh, binding will work we need this uh, file uploader as a required uh, form element okay let me build this solution reload the page so the uh, file uploader is shown in our view next we need to set the post url of this form for that open the add view there you can see a method begin form here we need to set the post url for that first parameter will be the action name that is add then controller name as image then form method type will be post then we need to uh, pass an attribute encryption type as enc type equals multi part forward slash form hyphen data we need this attribute because we have a file upload in our form otherwise we don't need this uh, attribute now let me create the post action add for that we can start with the attribute http post public action result add with a parameter image image model At the end of post action, we will return the same add view to add new uh, images. Inside this post action, we will save the uploaded image into a folder in our project and we will save the title and relative path of the image into our table image. For that, let me add a folder. For that, right click on the project, then add new folder naming as image first of all we need the name of image that is uploaded from the view i will save the name in a variable file name and we can retrieve the file name by calling the function path dot get file name without extension and we will uh, pass the parameter as image model dot image file that is our HTTP posted file base property dot file name this file name contains the name of image with the file directory and then we need the uh, extension of image and we can get the extension by calling the function get extension now I will update the file name file name concatenating date time dot now to string and it is formatted as yymm s s f f f then finally we will provide the extension of the image i have added this date time value into our file name to avoid the duplicate file name now i will save the relative path of the image into our model image path equals relative image inside image 
then the um, file name this is what we meant by the uh, relative path so from it will start from the project folder inside the project folder we have a project then inside that we have an image with this name now we need to save this image in the server inside this image folder before that we need to get the exact file directory path in the server for this image folder for that i will update the variable file name like this path dot combine then server dot map map path map path to the folder image so this will give the exact local path to this folder in my case the exact path will be something like this then we will combine this with our file name so we will get the complete image path now we want to save this image in this image folder for that you can do something like this image model dot image file that is the http posted file base dot save as then pass the file name that's it so now we are going to save title and relative path of image into image table so keep in mind that we are not saving the complete path of image we are just saving the relative path of image saving complete path of image is not a good idea so you can save the uh, details like this using db model db equals new db model db dot images dot add then pass the model as a parameter image model then db dot save changes and finally we will clear the model state now build the solution reload the page now let me upload a file in order to show how it works title will be flower then i'm gonna select a file to upload then i am posting the form so now image must be uploaded let me check the image folder so here you can see the image now in the database you can see the newly updated title and related image path now we are going to show the uploaded image for that I'm gonna add a new action HTTP get action public action result view ID as parameter first of all I'm gonna create an object of image class as image model then defining a using block db model db equals new db model image model equals db dot images dot were x such that x dot image id equals given id 
finally we will call first or default function and then we will return this uh, object to the view we need to add a view for this action for that right click on it then add view keep the name as it is then select the template as details then select the model class as image click on add so here it is showing the um, uh, title and here it is showing the image path instead of image path we need to show the exact image for that we will be using the html element img then set the image source from the model like this at url dot content and we can pass the content as the relative path of image model dot image path and then we will set the width equal to 250 height as 250 in order to run the application hold control then press f5 here we need to pass the id as one since we saved the previous upload as image id one that's it here you can see the title and then the uploaded image we are done with this video tutorial in this video tutorial we have discussed how to upload images in ASP.NET MVC application and finally we have displayed the uploaded images back to the browser you can download this demo project with db script from the link given below in video description in the previous video tutorials we have discussed how to implement mvc crud application with entity framework and we implement the login and logout system in mvc applications i have given related video links in video description please go through that please be subscribed to my channel dotnet mob for awesome videos like this please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye